guys, look at this. And this beautiful bright cherry red glaze. No tomato in that, guys. That's just chilies and apricots, a little honey, tiny bit of bourbon, some salt. Now I'm gonna raise the temperature in this a little bit. We're gonna let that glaze set up on those beautiful ribs. God help us, it's gonna be so delicious. everyone and welcome back to Texas Cooking Today. Hey, on this episode we're going to be making a barbecue glaze. It's like a barbecue sauce. This one's delicious guys. We're going to be using this mild red chili that's really kind of fruity tasting called guajillo chili and we're going to be using apricots and some honey. We're going to make this fantastic barbecue glaze so that when I'm finished smoking meats I can paint this over it and let it set in the last 20 minutes of the heat. And once it sets up on the meat, it makes this sweet little glaze on top of it that marries perfectly with the flavors of the smoke in the meat. Man, it's so good. Guys, come over this way. Let's look at these fantastic ingredients that I have here and let's get busy making a wonderful chili and apricot barbecue glaze. Come on over. Now guys, for this wonderful barbecue apricot glaze, I have here six ounces of apricots, four ounces of guajillo chilies, some honey, and some bourbon. If you don't like bourbon, consider using these one of these two other items, either a peach brandy or using some Southern Comfort, which is a combination of bourbon and a peach liqueur. Very tasty either way. The idea there is we want it kind of um, woody and smoky, which the bourbon gives us that malty, woody, smoky flavor. So will uh, those other items. That brandy will do that for you also. And so will the Southern Comfort. But it all, those will give you also a little bit of a fruit flavor, that peach flavor. A half to three quarters of a cup of this is more than enough. And then we're gonna boil out every single bit of the alcohol. I don't need alcohol in this. I just need the flavor that this product provides. I have an organic honey and I don't have a measurement on how much we're using because we are going to sweeten it to taste. So I'll get into showing you how we prepare all of this next. We're going to make this magnificent tasting barbecue sauce that's just <laughs> going to blow you, blow you totally away. Now let's get on with it. As you have just seen here, you want to take your chilies, slice them lengthwise, and get them into a bowl. What we're going to do is we're going to process these in a special way so that we get a clean, pure chili paste. The best way of doing it is what I'm about to show you, which is a slow soak followed by running it through a food mill. If you don't have a food mill, really look at that. Just run a, a quick search online for food mill. You'll find them for under $20 and probably at a store very close to you. Food mills are great. A lot of people buy them to make baby food, but they make the most splendid sauces. Let's get these with some hot water in them. Guys, our chilies are soaking in hot water. Give them a turn every once in a while and just let them sit in here long enough to get puffy and soft all on their own. There's no rush on this, okay? Because, you know, barbecue takes a long time. Here, if you will notice, we have what is called a food mill. We're gonna use the small size sieve to make a very smooth sauce. Guys, my chilies have been soaking for about an hour now, and like I said, I was gonna be processing these apricots also. Now, as a dried apricot, they're kind of leathery and tough, 
And what I want to do is make these just a little bit easier to process. So what I'm going to do is just kind of cut them up a little bit and I want to get them down in some water so that they kind of rehydrate a little bit. There we go. Oh yay. Now, we'll get these into a bowl. I'm going to put some hot water in them. Now guys, this is what I'm talking about. They don't have to be drowning in water, just lightly covered. It doesn't take a whole lot of water. You see, I got maybe a cup in there of hot water. Hey guys, let's get on with making this wonderful sauce. Look at this. Those have puffed right up. There's a little liquid left, but not a lot. I'm gonna place all of it right down into that food mill. Save this bowl. You're gonna use it for the stems from your chilies in just a moment. And when you're running a food mill, it's really simple. All you need to do is just clutch it close to your body. That's what I'm gonna show you here. Just pull it in and crank. Use a uh, spatula to occasionally knock some of these bits back down. I have now milled the majority of those through there. I've got just some of the dry skins and items left behind. Most of the pulp has already been ran through and is in my pot or is underneath this. Okay, so that's our apricots. Now, on these chilies, all we have to do, if you remember, we kind of split them open earlier. So they have plenty of moisture running up inside of them. They hydrated beautifully. Let's just pluck off these stems and anything that comes out from inside. If you want to knock some of the seeds off, you can. Just break it down slightly and throw it into your food mill. Okay. That's all there is to it, guys. Isn't that easy? And if you get some seeds in that food mill, it's not going to hurt anything. That's what it does. It separates seeds and skin from the pulpy goodness that you're looking for. Now, if you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to take forever to mill those chilies. Well, guess what? You're wrong. It doesn't take that long. I have taken a moment to throw out those uh, chili stems, empty this bowl, so I'll have a place for my spoon. Now, I'm just going to mill these chilies through. Okay guys, let's take a look at this. We have a bunch of skins in the top, some seeds. Down here, a whole bunch of chili paste. Down in the pot, a whole bunch of chili paste and apricot paste. And there we have it. All I need to do now, we're gonna add some other ingredients and get busy heating it up. Come over this way got this gorgeous, gorgeous paste in here. Fruity, chili -y, and ready to turn into something fabulous. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some of that honey and I'm just gonna squeeze off a little in here. And you might be saying, but what if it's already sweet enough? Guess what guys, it's gonna get a little honey. Okay, that was about three tablespoons. I'm gonna put in a little bit of salt, it's about a half a to three quarters of a teaspoon. And I'm gonna hydrate this a little bit. And as I told you before, I like using liquor the same way people use certain um, extracts, which of course have alcohol in them too. They provide wonderful flavor. In this case, a warm, woody, somewhat malty tone that is sweet, because this is a very smooth, sweet bourbon. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The bold red color of it. I'm going to add a little water to this to thin it just a little bit more. I didn't put a lot of bourbon in there. I put in maybe oh, a half a cup or slightly more, but that was about it. And there we go. That was three quarters of a cup of water. And now it has about the same consistency as your typical barbecue sauce. This is going to make a beautiful rib glaze. So 
So we have red ribs and we're gonna put this red glaze on top of it. <laughs> oh dear, how delicious. Okay guys, as I had mentioned before, cooking the alcohol out. We've just started the simmer on this. It's just beginning to bubble and I'm getting some steam. This early steam that's happening right here, that's actually alcohol steam. So in order to get the alcohol out of this, I can either A, just leave it uncovered, or B, I can put a lid on there just slightly cocked. And it doesn't take long. Pretty soon, that alcohol will be gone. I can cover this. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, then afterwards, it'll sit there and simmer. And we're gonna simmer that for about 45 minutes to an hour after I get the alcohol out of it. Okay guys, look at this. Oh dear, pour some of this on. And this beautiful bright cherry red glaze. No tomato in that guys, that's just chilies and apricots, a little honey, tiny bit of bourbon, some salt. Now I'm gonna raise the temperature in this a little bit. We're gonna let that glaze set up on those beautiful ribs. And God help us, it's gonna be so delicious. And there it is folks. Beautiful, delicate, gorgeous. The glaze set up smooth and it's, it's dry to the touch, yet it is sweet on the palate. Let me tell you, look at that. Mm. Mm. Oh my man, it's so delicate and soft. The smokiness, slightly, slight hint of sweetness from that honey and the and the apricot. It's fruity. that we call cooked to perfection and boy is it delicious so i'll tell you what thank you very very much for watching this show guys and to my subscribers i would like to say cheers thank you i appreciate my subscribers more than you can imagine if you haven't please subscribe click the bell i'll tell you when i've got new recipes coming up and there are some really good recipes coming up folks delicious stuff also if you would, please leave me comments. I love it. I do my best to answer, all right? In most cases, you're gonna get an answer unless you're just a naughty person. Otherwise, it's all cool. A thumbs up, I really super appreciate that. Share my videos, and you folks, well, gosh, have a good day. Bye-bye.